we already have the value of the recipe the next thing that we have to do is we have to search for it right here what we have to do is first thing we have to see if this particular search bar is available and then try to enter the recipe value over here and check if it has got some values or search results for that let's return back to this particular flow and I'm here creating a new XAML for that the name of this will be sequence followed by search for the recipe okay then create here what I will do is I will try to search for that particular search bar to make sure that it's available there I'm using element exist and I'm trying to spy this particular thing So the output of this, as we can see, we have got the selector of that saying and tag of input, then the timeout is default 30 seconds. Let me change the name of that. Element exits is search bar. Save it and here let's create a flag. Search flag enter okay this thing we are going to use it later on so let's take an if statement and here we have the if let's pass this particular boolean value that we have to this search flag if it is true then we are good to go but what if it fails so let's use an activity called throw as we have already talked about it there are two types of exceptions that we might encounter one is system exception one is business exception we can explicitly throw an exception as we are doing it right now let's create an exception here new then exception and here we can write we can't we cannot find the search bar then close it so whenever it fails to load that particular search bar or it can't find it it will throw this error else it will move ahead if search bar is not found then once that is done, we are able to see that it's available. If it's available, what we are going to do is we'll go and we have to enter some data into it, right? So for that, let's take it uh, for that type into. Once we have the type into with us, let's indicate it over here. I have done that. And if you can see, there is a selector that has been generated here okay let's change the name of that what we are typing we are typing recipe so it's recipe let's enter some data apple just hard code it for right now okay once that is done we have to press enter this is how you get the enter button So once that is done, I have saved it. See what happens when we do that. Apple and then enter. So we have got something called search results. We have to make sure that this particular thing appears once we do that so that we confirm that there are some search results to it. For that also, what we are going to do is we can use element exist, copy this, and then again try to spy this particular text and you can rename that name later so it's called search results and then save it and this also you can create a new 
variable called search results flag search results flag and enter this time it's the same you're gonna use an if statement into this you'll pass search result flag and here if search result exists what if it is existing then you will not do anything else you will try to throw an exception this time too it's a system exception new dot exception inside it you can say failed to load failed to load the results fail to rule the search results that's it we are done for this let's run it once and see what happens when we do that let's run it straight away run file So we have to be in the first page to do that. Just type there. And it was successful. As you can see in the output panel, it has started and it has ended, right? Because it was able to see the search results let's make this more readable here what we can write is we can use a log message here log level is info and then here search enter data into search bar okay that's done next we are wearing something called looking for search results looking for search results text that's done so it's apple you can separate that here now it's done if i just keep a breakpoint over here is a breakpoint and I'm just clearing this and taking that to the home page and now let me run this debug file let's see what happens as you can see it has stopped there now entering data into search bar it was there so it's going into this it's typing the value and it has clicked on enter once that is done, we are here. Step into looking for the search results. It's available, so it has come out of that particular loop. That's the end.